So once you've screwed this in, what you've got to remember is a unit might be square or triangle, oblong, however you want to call it. But each side is individual and each side will be different to the other. So the sides that you have to make sure that's square is this front edge here and that front edge all the way down, nice and flush. Clamp it up with your clamps, screw it in. Make sure it's flush. Might not be flush at back and it might not be flush there. Depending on the unit and how they're built and how far they're out, there'll be a couple of mil out. So just as long as the front edge is flush, that edge is flush, all the way down that row, that's all you want. Don't matter about the back because you're going to lose it with a worktop. So don't stress about that or you're going to lose it with a granite or a corian or whatever is going on the kitchen. But if this front edge ain't flush and that ain't flush, that's where you will see it. So make sure that's flush and then clamp all your units up and run it in line. Bang on like that. And you can't... Right, as we're doing kitchen, we're going to put a tall housing unit in, but there's a bit of a technical issue. So we need to swap some of the stuff. So uh, for the corner units, the corner units always come like that and a square. I've squared that corner off, but chances are this thing flat and up. So the best thing is, is see that lip there? Just cut it off. Straight off like that. Always on its back. Flip it round. Do the same on the back. Cut the corner off. That way you will have no issue. And then what we might do is we might chamfer that off slightly, either side, and then we'll glue it, and then when we put it up, it won't matter because it, walls aren't square. That wall's square, this part's square. Don't mean that wall's not running in there. So uh, we'll get it up now and we'll just see before I do any more. But you definitely want to cut the edges out on the back. Then I flip it up. So we drop it down. We'll get his line off his tall housing unit. So we know because we've got 500 gap there, you need a minimum of 450. And then we'll see where we are because we... Right. So, that's the arc. So the easiest way to get the arc for your tall housing unit is just measure your tall housing unit, whatever it is. That's 1952. Measure from that bottom corner upwards, 1952. Mark your line, draw level line, and as you can see, that laser board. It's about an inch and a half too low. So uh, it couldn't have fallen worse for the kitchen unit. When they moved that main board, they should have moved that main board into the centre. Uh, and then at least we could have cut a nice square hole out of unit and put it on. Now we're going to have to cut all the top off the unit. And it's going to have to be on show. Because you have to be able to take that main board off. So... Uh, when you're doing all, I had no part in this main board moving it, otherwise it would have been where I wanted it to be. But when you're doing all, you need to think. People need to really, really think how stuff's going to work. The electrician who fit that aren't, they clearly hadn't thought, has it? You know what I mean? Unless he thought, the, thought it were high enough, but these ceilings are low. So, uh, belts and braces. Now we'll have to cut the unit. So this main board, we have to cut the top part of the unit. So a lot of people, when they're fitting, they cut the unit so tight around that top. When you come to actually do all in it, you can't take the front casing off. And then it's, just, it's 10 times harder trying to take a unit apart when you've got it up there and you're not able to unscrew that electric main board off. Because the main board pulls off so you have to leave enough room in front of it for it to pull off, for it to click back and it to go around. 
So when you're measuring out, don't cut so tight to that mains board that you're not going to be able to do all. It's going to have to be a bigger gap and it is what it is. You can't make a mini kill. So you've got to cut it out. Just cut it out nice, neat, square, bigger all round it. And you've always got to think if you need to work on that electric board, you have to be able to get into it. You don't want to be taking all the kitchen out just to get into it. So cut a nice decent all out and it should be should be alright. So we need to cut an inch down, we'll cut an inch down there, and then that unit's gonna push up, boom, cover it, straight over it. Right, so I've cut an eat all out and my unit still looks tidy in there. Now we we'll lift it up, put the brackets on the wall. So whatever your unit is, once you've drawn your top line, just measure there to where your bracket is. So that's 35 mil. So from that line, I'm going to measure 35 mil down, down. And then draw another line, and that's where your brackets are going to go. So for this wall, I'm having to use these bolts. Because along there, there's a steel beam going. And we can't drill into it, we can't drill through it. So I use uh, my foam adhesive, drill some holes above it. So I put them in them holes, pack it out. Then what I do, a bit more in there. There is actually a key for these where you can where you can put it on and clamp it. Screw it up, that opens it up for the plaster board. And then once that adhesive dries, behind there, and this, it's the best option you've got. And then what we'll do is we'll put some brackets up higher. solid and it'll be stuck to the metal the metal beam across it and then once we get this unit on wherever we can get we'll have a look to see where that metal beam is we'll try and get a bracket above it and screw it in on top of the unit so once you get your corner unit in and it's level on all all angles there 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 and at top then we can carry on, we go that way, that way, then it can be quicker. So we just bang these up very quickly, bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh, and then we'll screw that into either side of the unit. So this unit in effect will be fixed onto every single, onto all the other units to make sure that they still come away from the wall here and it'll be solid. You'll be able to swing on this, and that's what you want. So I've taken that socket out, which we're interfering with our cupboard, turned it off by means, taped it up. Then I put the front in the cupboard. The electrician can sort that out when he gets back. Now looking at that cable there, I think we're going to miss it off there. So I'll drill gently through there just to check it, and then put his bracket up, and we can put his last wally up. And then put as tall housing unit right up to it. And jobs are good at it. What you have to do is make sure that the units, look at that, bang level. Line, always line up. And then we can 
crack on now. You make sure it's all square, all the way around. Square, plump, beautiful. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Then, all you have to do is make sure that this angle is square. And as you can see, that wall there clearly dips in like that. So the way to get out of that is get a chalk, jam that underneath it, and then get level back on it, and it's bang level. So we'll put a little chalk underneath there to stop that, to twist that unit back out because that wall's not level. And then that, in turn, will keep this level. We'll fix it up, put a 3v2 along top, screw that in on the diagonal into the brickwork, past the metal beam, and um, jobs are good and be solid. Top job. So then what we've got here, dishwasher's gonna go there. So this is a 600 unit for Ireland. So I put bottom legs on, and I've just put it in that gap. And you know it's exactly 600. So we make his level, bring the uh, fridge unit in, which is going to go on the end, put that unit in, we know we've got a 600 gap, we make sure we bolt that fridge unit to the wall everywhere, so it can't move. This is already plumbed up, so it's bang level. This is for double oven. So here, we've got two different levels here. So we've got two different levels different part house. So uh, we're about 10 mil out there. So don't just push the units right back to the wall. What we have to do is we have to stay square and whatever gap that is, we'll finish that with a panel, which I'll show you later. That'll be at the end of the day because there's some curved panels on this. But with it being a curved panel, that, that's allowing us, these panels are oversized. So as panels will go back to the wall and we'll scrub it into the wall and we won't notice that dip. Do you know what I mean? The other option was to knock it all off and reboard it, but customer didn't want to go to that extent and that expense. So you only can work with what you can work with. And that's what we're working with. But by the time I finish, you'll never know it's different level. And that bottom there, it's way out. Massively. Top, that's not bad. Bottom. It's way out. Way out. So it, it, I'm quite happy that my unit's off the wall. Because I'll be able to just level it. And then put a load of brackets in all the way up. Screw it up. It'll never move. Ever move. And it'll be level. Can't do with stuff not level. We'll make sure. That's it.